The day that I met and had a conversation with a prostitute on the street, I got to know her. She was a really like generous, kind, loving person. We talked about her family, talked about her kids, and we talked about her job. I noticed that there was some bruising around her eye and I asked her about it. And she said that this had just happened a few nights before when a client gotten very violent and aggressive towards her and actually took a lighter out of his pocket and punched her in the eye with the lighter and totally cut and bruised her eye. It's a pretty dangerous job. She had been looking for work for a long time and the only work that she could really get which would afford her enough money for her, her son was this kind of work. And of course she didn't want to do it and she hated it. She felt like she had no choice and she had to do it for her son. It was this or her son Styles. And she also told me another story where a group of Christians had come to this area and they actually approached her and they told her to, to go home and to stop doing the work that she was doing um, because it was a sin. And she was telling me this story and she was clearly angry and kind of upset about what had happened and why these people would just come to just judge and condemn her. And she tried to tell them that she felt like she had no choice. So here's the story. Are you ready? Probably not. You should be. I mean, you clicked on the video. You should be ready. We've got three characters. One, Jesus. Two, the Pharisees and the religious leaders. And three, a woman caught in adultery or a prostitute. One day, Jesus is teaching in the temple and the Pharisees and the religious leaders come to Jesus in the temple with a woman who has been caught in adultery. That means that she was caught having sex with someone that wasn't her husband. And so they bring the woman before Jesus and they say to Jesus, going by the law, this woman deserves to be stoned to death. What do you say? Jesus answers the Pharisees and the religious leaders by saying this, the sinless one among you, go first, throw the stone. And the Pharisees and the religious leaders react to this by dropping their stones and walking away, leaving the woman alone with Jesus. All of her accusers are gone. And then Jesus looks back at the woman who is now alone and asks her, woman, where are they? Does no one condemn you? Neither do I, said Jesus. Go on your way. From now on, don't sin. The point is this. God doesn't define you by what you do, but he instead defines you by his love. If God was to define us by the mistakes that we made, We'd be pretty screwed. I'd be pretty stuffed. We'd be toast. I'd be cheesy toast, obviously. I'm a cheesy guy. But luckily, as we see through Jesus' actions in this story, God sees us for who we actually are, the us that he created in the first place. And who knows us better than the God that created us, not the people that judge us and condemn us. Good stuff. Um, thanks for watching, Michael Huang. I can't. What? Okay, Michael Huang? Hyung? Hyung. Young with a H. Thanks for coming and watching Michael Hyung. See ya. Come on.